Hey guys, welcome back to another design tutorial. In today's video, we'll be creating a minimal spray can design using Illustrator. We'll be using only a few shades of color and use the negative space to give volume to the design. So let's begin with the tutorial. First, add a background rectangle and apply green color to it. Use the color picker tool to choose the appropriate color. And you can use the same color code to get the same effect. Now we'll lock our background shape. So select the shape and go to object lock selection. This will lock the selected shape. You can also use the shortcut command or control 2 to lock the shape. Next, we'll draw the base shape of the can. So select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle with a certain thickness. Then apply red color using the color picker option. Click to choose the appropriate color or use this color code hash F51F3B to apply the same color as in our design. And click OK. Next, we'll make the top and the bottom edge little round. So select the anchor point tool and click and drag the top right corner point vertically. This will give a curve end at the corner. Do the same for the other side. Click on the point and drag it up to give a round curve. This way, we'll make the bottom two corner points round to give a cylindrical look to the shape. Next, select the shape. Then with the Alt pressed, click and drag the shape to make another duplicate. Drag it down and leave a certain thickness on the top. Then again using the same technique, click and drag it down to create under duplicate and place it around here. We'll use this third shape to extract out the bottom shape. Now select all the shape and using the shape builder tool, click on the top first section, then the bottom section and lastly the piece just below it. This will extract out all the section in separate pieces. Now delete out the repeated shapes and make sure that there is only one shape for each section. Next we'll apply fill color. So select these two shapes. Apply gray color using the color picker option. Use this color code and click OK. Now select the bottom shape and for this we'll give very light brown color. Let's make the bottom corners more rounder by adjusting the handles. Next, we'll create the top section of the can. So select the ellipse tool and draw a circle from the center of the rectangular shape. Set its diameter same as the width of the rectangle. With the shape pressed, you can create any shape from the center. Now drag down the circle and place it just beside the lower anchor point. Now select the circle and the small shape, then using the direct selection tool, click on the top section. This will extract out the top region. Delete out the remaining piece. This will leave us a dome shape on top. After this, draw a rectangle on top. Apply gray color to it. Reduce its thickness and create under duplicate on top. For this, let's apply different color. Choose dark gray color from the color picker. Next, create under duplicate on top. Click and drag it with the Alt pressed. Reduce its width and height. We'll use this shape to create the nozzle of the can. Choose dark gray color from the color picker. We'll create one more duplicate of the shape on top. Increase its height using the transform tool and apply light brown color using the picker tool. Now to add more details to the nozzle, add a rectangle on top and apply light yellow color to it. Then create one more duplicate of this shape and reduce its width. Now select the shape and the light brown rectangle and apply minus front option from the pathfinder. This will leave us an empty space in between. Now arrange it to back using the shortcut command or control open square bracket. Next add a circle at the center and apply dark gray color to it. Adjust its size in proportion to the size of the nozzle. This way, we have created a top section of the can. Next, we'll add the highlight. We'll create it using the curves and the shape. So, for the curve highlight, select the pen tool and draw the curve. Click and drag to give a smooth curve. 
After this, give a stroke color to it. Double click on the stroke color and choose light yellow color under color picker panel. Then click OK. Increase the stroke thickness to around 2 point and under stroke panel, choose round cap option to make the end points round. If you want to edit the curve path, use your direct selection tool and edge the handles. Let's increase the stroke thickness to 4 points. Next to create the highlighted shapes for the body, select the red rectangle, create a duplicate using the keyboard shortcut command or control C to copy and command or control F to paste in front. Then reduce its height leaving a certain thickness on top. Then choose a different color from the color swatches. Now using the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle on top, increase its length longer than our background shape. Apply yellow color from the color swatches. Adjust the thickness of the rectangle using the selection tool. Now to create under duplicate of a rectangle, with the all press click and drag. For this, we'll give broader surface area. Give a sufficient space in between. Now we'll extract out the rectangular shape. So select both the rectangle and the background shape. And using the shape builder tool, click on the yellow region. Now you can delete off the unwanted pieces. Ungroup it to separate out each shapes. Then select all the extra shapes and delete it. Next, selecting both the rectangle, let's create another duplicate. Place it on the left side. To flip it vertically, open the reflect tool, check vertical option and then click OK. Now shift the first rectangle toward the edge and reduce its thickness. Do the same for the other shapes and reduce their thickness. Now if you look at the top edge, they are not aligned with the shape of the body. So select the free transform tool and click and drag the side edge downward. Do the same for the other shape. Select it and using its free transform tool, drag the right edge little downward. Next, draw a circle on top and place it around here. Do create under duplicate for further use. Now select these two shapes and apply minus front option. Then ungroup it and delete out the lower shape. We can do the same thing to the other shapes also. Place the circle where you want to give the cut and apply minus front option under the pathfinder. Create a new circle and follow the same steps for the other two shapes. This way, we are left with the required pieces. Now create a duplicate of these two shapes and drag it down. To flip the shapes, we'll use reflect horizontal and click OK. This way, you can create a mirror shape of any object. Next, let's change the fill color. Apply light yellow color to the highlighted shape. For the left side shape, we'll give dark highlight color. Choose dark red from the color picker panel. Then go to transparency panel and reduce the opacity to around 38%. Next, we'll create the label design for the can. The labels can be in different shapes and style. To create this design, we'll make use of negative space. So select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Place it closer to our highlighted shapes and increase its width area. Now draw a rectangle just below the ellipse. We'll tweak the anchor points using the anchor point tool. Click and drag it at the intersecting region. Now use the anchor point tool and click and drag the lower anchor points to make the corner round. Adjust the handles to give a curved base. Also, 
Add one anchor point at the middle using the pen tool. Then drag it down to give more curved look. Now select both the rectangle and the circle and unite them using the unite option under pathfinder. After this, select these two anchor points and drag it down. Next, we'll extract out the required region. So select the shape and the base shape. Then using the shape builder tool, click on this middle region. Now you can delete out the extended shapes. Let's apply yellow color from the color swatches. Next, draw a small oval shape and rotate it to an angle giving around 21 degree. Place it at this corner like this. Create under duplicate and place it on the other side. Use reflect option to reflect a direction. Now select all the four shapes, both the ovals, our background shape and the yellow shape. Then selecting the shape builder tool, click and drag to combine the red region. This will convert it into single object. Delete out the remaining shapes. Now arrange the top shape to background using the keyboard shortcut command or control open square bracket. After this, select the middle shape and apply light brown color. Use the color picker panel to get the exact color. Next, we'll give a stroke color to the shape and increase its stroke thickness to around 4 points. Also, open stroke panel Choose Align Stroke Inward. This will give us thick border. Next, go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke and apply Minus Front option to subtract the border area. Now to add inner green border, select the top red shape and create a duplicate. Now select both the overlapping shapes and using the Shape Builder tool, Extract out these lower extended shapes. Do the same for the bottom shape as well. Give the piece the same color as above. Now we'll add a title. So draw a curve path using the pen tool. Select the text tool and click over the curve path. This way you can type out any text to any curve shape. To align the text to the center, use the direct selection tool and click and drag it to the center. Apply league gothic regular font. Increase the font size and give a decent spacing to fill up the area. Next, type out other text and give the same font style. To give retro look, draw out few horizontal line segments. To give dash effect, open the stroke panel and put values on dash lines. Adjust all the three values and you'll get a nice effect. Lastly, we'll add shadow to the design. Draw your ellipse on the bottom of the can. Apply dark brown color. Place it just beside the can. Now select all the shapes and extract out the shadow shape using the shape builder tool. We can use this remaining shape to give a thin border gap. So increase its size from this corner giving an overlapping region. Then selecting both the shapes, apply minus front option from the pathfinder. This gives us a nice negative border. Finally, we have completed designing Minimalist Spray Can Design inside Illustrator. Thank you.